I'm pretty sure that you guys have eaten Sunfee's thin potato biscuit. But in this video, I'm not gonna review the biscuit. Instead, I'm gonna make this delicious and tasty snack. So keep on watching. This packet is only for rupees 10. Some of them were broken inside and I gave it to my niece. I saw one of the YouTube videos where someone was trying to be creative with the biscuit. So I thought, why not? I should also try this. So here I'm mixing ketchup with mayo and applied it to each biscuit. If you don't have any one of them, you can use it either ketchup or mayo. I have added onions, tomatoes, some more mayo then chili red chili flakes some black pepper green chili sauce sprinkled with some same and green chili and some more mayos and it's ready you can also top it with cheese if you have and enjoy welcome to yet another recipe video let's make cone chart uske liye maine ek chote wale papad liye hain you can also use bada wala papad agar bade wale papad use karna hai to beech se cut karke fir usko shape dena hai cone ka roast your papad both the side and give it a shape like cone using the cloth otherwise you'll burn your hand फिर यहाँ पे मैं शूट करना भूल गई थी मैंने डाले हैं अनियंस टमेटो एंड कच्चा मैगी फॉर दैट एक्स्ट्रा क्रंच और उसमें ग्रीन चिली डाला है लेमन जूस एंड थोड़ा सा मेयो एंड मिक्स कर लिया है अब मैं डाल रही हूँ आलू भुजिया एंड सम सॉल्ट एंड मिक्स कर दिया अच्छे से कीप द मिक्सचर असाइड नाउ विल प्रिपेयर द कोन यहाँ पे मैंने कोन को छोटे से ग्लास में डाल दिया ताकि वो गिरे ना अप्लाइंग सम रेड सॉस एंड फिलिंग विद द मिक्सचर वी प्रिपेयर टॉपिंग विद सम मोर मेयो एंड आलू भुजिया and it's ready now it's time for taste test it was really crunchy and very tasty try it out if you haven't let's make papad tacos today so easy to make and taste really amazing start by roasting your papad both the side on low heat use a muslin cloth or a kitchen cloth give your papad taco shape and your papad taco is ready keep it aside these are the ingredient which i'll be using for filling boiled sweet corn tomato onion green chili and coriander leaves here i am applying some pizza pasta sauce if you have tomato ketchup you can also use that now to make the filling take a bowl add boiled sweet corn onions tomatoes add in some chaat masala black pepper and mix it well now fill your tacos with the mixture add green chilies coriander leaves and some same and mayo add whatever toppings you would love to add and it's ready and this is the best snack you will ever make so have an enjoy back with another easy and quick snack recipe for you guys so today i'm making paneer tawa fry which is very easy take a plate or a bowl start by adding red chili powder turmeric powder some cumin add powder garam masala you can also add it some rice flour and curd add in some ginger garlic paste and tomato sauce and mix it well i don't like cook paneer that much either i can eat it as it is or or fried that's why i'm making one today and do not forget to add salt like i did so i'm adding it now the batter should not be flowy it should be like this here i have given round shape to the paneer you can give any shape you want now coat your paneer both the side into the batter and repeat the process Add oil on tawa. Fry the paneer on both the side. Do not burn it, and your tawa paneer fry is ready. Serve them with some onions and tomatoes and some sauces you like. Sprinkle some chaat masala on the top and lemon juice, and enjoy. Have you ever tried these two combinations of snacking? If not, try it out and thank me later. Take two brown breads or any other bread you have, and I am taking cooked soy chunk. Now we are gonna stuff soy chunk in between two breads and make a sandwich. Trust me, the taste is too good. Try it out and let me know in the comment section. Want some snack recipe? Here you go. आज बनाते हैं क्विक एंड इजी पनीर बन तो उसके लिए मैंने होम मेड पनीर की पैटी ली है पनीर पैटी को तवे में दोनों साइड रोस्ट कर लो थोड़ा सॉल्ट एंड ब्लैक पेपर के साथ I had this leftover bun so I used this one. I roasted the inner side. I ran out of tomato sauce so I'm adding pasta sauce. फिर थोड़ा सा onions डाल दिया, tomato डाल दिया. You can also add lettuce, cabbage और any other veggies जो burger में डलते हैं. अब थोड़ा सा mayo डाल दिया because mayo के बिना sandwich जो burger incomplete है. अब पनीर की patty रख दी. उसके ऊपर और थोड़ा mayo and you can also use tomato sauce or any other tandoori sauce. After that bun का ऊपर वाला part रख देंगे and and your paneer bun is ready this tastes really yum share with your siblings or eat it alone if you are a paneer lover you should definitely try this try it out and enjoy follow for more such recipes so today i'm making creamy pink sauce pasta i have used farfalle pasta today this is also called butterfly pasta so yahan pe main boil kar rahi hu 1 cup pasta usme maine oil dala hai thoda sa taki wo sticky na ho and i'm using some vegetable for stir fry to yahan pe maine onions tomato and capsicum liya hai aur usse thoda sa stir fry kar diye so salt and black pepper ke sath same pan mein maine dala hai thoda sa garlic and maida aur usko thoda roast kar diya hai jab tak ki wo kacha na ho and usme add kar diya hai milk cook karna hai low to medium heat pe now add your stir fried veggies now our white sauce is ready adding some red pasta sauce because we are making pink sauce pasta ab add karenge boiled pasta and mix it really well adding some salt black pepper and chili flakes you can also add oregano i didn't have it so i didn't add it and the pasta is ready so when enjoy
evening I was feeling so hungry then I saw this leftover boiled egg and I had bread also so I thought to make something this recipe is very easy and very quick which you can also make when you are hungry and you don't have anything to eat take boiled egg cut it in pieces add mayo add black pepper and black salt and mix it well and this is ready now take bread put it on your bread and and that's it this tastes really good try it out and let me know in the comment section if you really liked it and do not forget to hit the like button Hey guys, welcome to another recipe video. Let's make sabudana paratha today. You can eat it as your breakfast or as a snack. Start by washing your sabudana. Now strain it and let it soak for about 15 to 30 minutes. Now take a bowl, add your soaked sabudana, boiled potatoes, some crushed peanuts, green chilies, chopped coriander, black salt, garam masala, black pepper. Add in some chaat masala, some red chili powder and mix it well. for binding anyway we have already used potato oh. but i am using little bit of rice flour as well now the mixture is ready apply oil in your hand now give it a shape using a butter paper now cook it on low medium heat and your sabudana chila or paratha is ready to serve do subscribe if you like the video follow for more bye